welcome back to Wrestling Empire Free Roam Career on the Nintendo Switch. I am your host, Attack Slug, still the postgraduate champion of the school, and it is time for our premium live event against the previous champion, Newbie Nate. Let's just go squash him into the dirt one more time on this broadcast, because good god, uh, he does not deserve a shot. I beat him Iron Man 10 to 0. So there is nothing he could possibly do to make this worth my while, but his contractually obligated rematch clause, he gets one of those. So you get one Nate, and then you're done. And hopefully, this performance will get me a job somewhere else at a different federation and be a proper world champion put that light tube down sir you are not a garbage indie fed okay welcome to the postgraduate championship matchup that's me the postgraduate champion attack slug for as long as i want to hold it i'm the champ the champ is here the challenger the previous champion newbie nate now then rex is our ref Ring the bell, and let's get this show over with, because clearly Nate here is not even on my level. Not in the least. We know this, we've seen this, it is the deal, and Nate with the early headlock, the early choke out, I'm next to the ropes here, alright, reversed it, pick him up, and then we go to work. On newbie Nate with the Steiner pile driver, I'm sorry, the Steiner screwdriver into that leg lock across the neck. And look at that. I told you, I warned you, I was very clear in my speech that you are not on my level. You're donezo. Another Steiner screwdriver. Leave me alone, newbie Nate. You don't deserve any more shots at my championship. 30 seconds, you got nothing. So either give me better competition or give me a job somewhere else. I'm making zero, 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 point zero, zero in the school. And my expenses are still expenses. So, on the subway, he popped for that counter into a diamond cutter. Well, thank you, B. Brian Blair. I appreciate that here on the subway. Can I teach you that counter into the cutter? That RKO out of nowhere? Sure. I'll improve your skill. That's fine. I guess. On the subway. Thanks, slug. Yeah, okay, sure. Moving into December of 2026. Butterbean and Becky defeated Shank and Big Bob and are the tag champs of Wrestling Rev. Big E defeats Brutus the Barber for that IC title in Rising Sun. CM Punk heading to Rising Sun. Amanda Nunez heading to Wrestling Rev. Dr. Dash, the new booker of Hollywood. He's got all those peels for all those retired Hollywood boys. And Fetty Online below Rising Sun in the ratings. But would somebody give me a job. I'd appreciate that. So let's look at, all right, there's that co-ed title match with Molly Holly. Training and then nothing on pay-per-view. What if we said on the third week, head into the roster, head somewhere else, not Hollywood, but head somewhere else to perhaps challenge someone else for a inter- promotional matchup. But who could that be? Perhaps Bald Order, the jobber? No, let's challenge Kenny by God Omega. And try to get a job over here. It is indeed worth your time, I should certainly hope, but perhaps not. Perhaps not. Look, I'm just trying to get hired here, so give me a match. I'm a champion, and you're not. No, I'm not tough enough to trade blows with the best bout machine. What if I actually challenged the jobber? Just to get my foot in the door, I'll challenge Bald Order, and hopefully he'll give me a matchup as he should be desperate being a jobber. 
I don't know, man. Look, it's an option. I challenge you. And we don't work for the same. That's the point, man. Don't you get it? Hey, buddy. We're friends, right? How about you give me a match and, you know, friendly competition. We don't work for the same company, and that's not gonna happen. That's a shame. What's going on, Mr. Cookie Monster Punk? What do we got? Nope. All right, so nobody wants to work that interbranded deal. What if I attack somebody backstage and do it that way? Like somebody somewhere, somehow gonna have to, right? So that means it's time to roam and look for the guy who was staring at me in the bathroom, Ron Simmons? Nah. All right, let's leave the train and head to the street and maybe in the street, that guy has a gun. Uh, tiger mask over here, doing things. Look, I have a very important match to happen, right? So that's an issue. But in the meanwhile, I'm looking for somebody who does not work for my company. I don't want to go back to Swagger. There's Sabu, homicidal, suicidal, genocidal Sabu. Who's in the bar? Who wants to have a bar room brawl? Is that Test? Is that? No, that's Kevin Nash. Hey, big sexy. How about a match with you? Oh, the American Codester! Codester! Cody Rhodes! Uh, pile driver on the floor in this barroom brawl. What's your problem? What's your problem? Well, Cody, I got a bunch of problems. The first of which being that I don't have a job right now. So that one is important to get me out of wrestling school with that a brain a busta. And the show's starting. So how about Cody? And as Umaga films it, the one-winged angel on Cody Rhodes is really, really funny. No, I can't see you guys. I can't see anything as I choke out the life from the American Nightmare. Whoa, he's only Cody Rhodes. Into the arm bar, trying to fight out of it. As long as I have no health here going into this matchup with uh, two opponents. So let's find some food first and then eat the food and then uh, get out of here. Is there food I can steal? Is there, I mean, buy. Is there food I can buy? Hey, yes, hot dog. Hot doggin'. Grandstanding. Yeah. Dig it. Dig it. Pizza on the floor. Floor pizza. Eating that floor pizza. Yeah. That's plenty of health. We're fine. Let's go to the match. It's fine. As we proceed. Oh, wait. It's non-title. Then why should I care? It's a three-man, a triple threat, non-title. Then why should I care? Who are my non-title opponents? Who wants to have themselves a potential pinning of me to earn? It's Taka, a championship opportunity. Taka is coming. And it's Bill DeMott. Boo! No one likes you. Get out of here, you bum. Bam Bam Billo and and Dickie on commentary, I, I do believe. And Coach is your official. And Bill DeMott is drunk. And, uh, yeah, uh, don't make me fight multiple opponents. I should be main event every night. The spotlight should be on top of me, yeah. All right, sure. But if I gotta smash him and stack him, I'll do that. I will do just that. He's still out there drinking. Like, all right, look, I will get Takamishidoka with that Brain Buster. And Bill DeMott, you can just look. Look, really? Standing switch? Standing switch? Aha! Punch the coach there. Drop that deal into the backslide. That'd be enough. Not enough in the least. But hey, you guys want to fight amongst yourselves. I taunt here and get myself a meter and get myself a finish. That's just fine. That's just prime. All right, into the corner. Adrenaline! No! Oh, slug stomp! And Taka caught him. Razor's Edge is great. Is great. That was fantastic. And Sister Abigail. Meanwhile, this bum. This bum. Look, I'm definitely not going to train under you. That's for sure. Uh, anyhow, let's get this matchup finished. Maybe? Soon? Is it? Elim, or is it first fall to a finish? That's the question. So Taka, if it's first fall, how about you interrupt there and actually get him off of me to make that happen? I'm now in that figure four leg lock, and now it's reversed, which is not how you reverse it. You turn over, reverse the pressure. That's how that works. 
Uh, but that's not how that works. So, all right, whatevs. Oh, relax, Taka. Relax. Brain Buster. And I do not find this humorous whatsoever. Okay, look. This is not how I planned on today going after beating Newbie Nate in under one minute. That is to be sure. Rope Break. Thank you. Like, why am I getting double teamed? I understand. I'm the champion, right? Whoever pins the champion should get a shot. I get that part. But if it's first fall to a finish, y'all should be fighting to not have me tap out to an ankle lock and whatever else. It's just wrong. And then again, brain busted. Taka. Nice. That was a double team. I like that a lot. That was pretty good. And no, somehow, some way, that was not enough. So you would have thought that would have been the way to end this matchup, but no. Coach, please refrain from taking forever to count a pinball. I still got him. And yes, it is Elim, so now it is me and Taka Mishinoku. So, all right, look, Taka is slowly ever so slowly get into his feet and it don't matter because I have infinite brain busters and I'm just about back to where I need to be which is my finish so get ready to have that brain stomped into the mat and or and or that hammer gonna drop on you Taka so what you gonna do when slug runs freaking wild man here we go. Burning Hammer. One, two, three. Non-title, still dominant. Still dominant. You're welcome. But also, why do these appearances and these dominant victories not gain me any kind of employment? Well, I think on that, let's go use the toilet. Bye now. All that work to lose four hundo, what else is new? Coach, what do you want? I made quite the mess in the arena. Let me guess, that's gonna cost me additional parts of my non-existent pay. So another 200 in damages. I'm trying to not get fired here. Like, sure, fine, here's the money, relax. Now, personally, it wasn't me. I think it was more, you know, somebody else, but Okay, I get the blame. I'm the champion. I'm carrying this brand. I understand that part of the equation. Cobra Moon staying at Super Lucha Libre. B. Brian Blair is the new undergraduate champion. Bubba Ray is being criticized. Think of the heat. And we'll conclude with this postgraduate. I thought it was for her title. Like, I thought it was the co ed. Is it both belts? Is it. Look, man. Look, man. If Molly. Wants to go round, we can certainly go round. So, will I be a two title champion or will Molly Holly be the new postgraduate champion? We're gonna find out right here, right now. You wanted this match, and this is what you get. Will you last longer than a newbie Nate did? We're gonna find out real quick. Real quick. So, I've yet to be defeated here in Skewel. Because the competition here, frankly, is not that good. Now then, it's getting a little boring. Who has what it takes? Who will give me a offer to go elsewhere? So, apparently I've been ducking Molly Holly. That's fine. Again, we aren't in the same division, Miss Molly. So, let's go, Nora. Yep, screwdriver. Pick you up and go to town with a pile driver. Good old fashioned, never out of style, pile driver. And then, oh, that's also classic. The headlock takeover is also an all time classic. But that doesn't mean you're gonna get anywhere doing that, Miss Molly Holly. It does not. Because I am more a super than you are. So, I don't care how mighty you think you are, it's about to go 
down. Also, referee, please return to the ring and do your job. All I'm asking you. That's it. That's all. I didn't. This was not a match I asked for or wanted, but it's certainly, if the challenge One, is laid out, a two, match I'm going three. to win. And the post fighter champion is still your post graduate. Oh, she is not happy. She is not happy about it. She's like, no, my title. Look, you wanted this, and you got it. Now then, if you'll excuse me, I have places to be and things to do, and uh, hopefully offers to entertain from other federations. So I said good day. Sasha Banks released by Wrestling Revolution. McIntyre defeats Brian for the world title in strong style. Kofi defeats Big E. Uh-oh. New Day's falling apart in Rising Sun. Weekend Warriors have poached Ray Mysterio from Hollywood for 49,300. Tina Bravo is in a rivalry with Woodrow of Legends. A tax slug gotta fight Scotty to Hottie in a three-way end of the month. And HBK, the best overall in the world. The showstopper, the icon, the main event, and this clown. This absolute clown. So, that's it for today. I'm a tax slug. Thanks for watching. More videos right here. I'll see you next time. And I'm out.